I'll tell you guys a story. The first time I ever went camping by myself, I worked in an office and I would often on Fridays take my Jeep with me to work to just go somewhere after work on, a, on an adventure long before I started filming my adventures. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Also by White Rock Dodge. And in part by What's up guys, hope you're having a good week. Welcome back. I am just getting packed up and getting ready to do something that I haven't done in a very long time. In fact, since I had my very first Jeep, I'm getting ready to go out on a solo camping trip. Obviously going out off-roading solo is not always advisable. In this case, I know the area that I'm going extremely well and I'm completely capable of handling anything that's on the road there, getting myself out of situations. So I'm gonna be taking on that risk uh, confidently, but just keep in mind if you do plan to go solo camping that you go prepared or, you know, don't do it. I'm not going too crazy with gear for this trip. We got chainsaw, waders, tools, barbecue, propane, boots, recovery gear, sleeping equipment, cooking equipment, toilet, chair. That should pretty much cover it, other than food, which we're loading up at the back. I'm gonna pick up a few supplies on the way, pick up some firewood on the way, uh, if I can find some out in the forest, and uh, let's just get underway. Hey guys, before we continue this adventure, I have something extremely important to talk about for all my fellow men out there. As you've probably noticed, I always wear a hat. Why do I always wear a hat, you ask? Because two out of three men by the time they are 35 will experience some kind of male pattern baldness. Fear not, my fellow men. Keeps has sponsored this video to make sure we keep what's left of our hair. Now here's the thing, men. The key to keeping your hair is preventative care. It's important to act fast because it can take four to six months to start seeing results. Keeps has over 100,000 people using their service right now and has the most five-star reviews of all their competitors. And that means they're better at keeping your hair. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, head over to keeps.com slash TSTN to get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TSTN. You're also gonna find that link below in the description. Thanks Keeps for helping me save my hair and sponsoring this adventure. All right guys, just get off the pavement, getting the truck aired down. I passed a sign on the way in here that said the road is actually closed at 18 kilometers. Don't know what that's about. Hopefully that does not affect my plans or we'll have to improvise and find somewhere else to camp. But that's fine, we're kind of winging it here, going on this fun little solo adventure, so let's just see how it goes. Check this out guys, this is really cool. I've seen this a bunch of times when I've come through here, but I've always been in a hurry and never stopped to uh, show you guys. It's an old plank road from when they originally built this road for logging, carrying logs up from the lake. You can still see a lot of it left here. It's probably 70 years old or so. There's something about going out into the woods by yourself, exploring, being self-sufficient, facing any fears of being alone, testing your mettle. It's a completely different experience. There's 
no radio chatter. No discussion about which way to go. I can go anywhere. missions with no deadline for getting somewhere I'm feeling adventurous today Alright, so I've been looking for this lake up here and not having much luck. Came out in this clear cut and the lake should be like right next to me, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut my losses here, go back, find another lake, find a good spot to camp before the sun goes down while it's still nice out. Recent logging has turned a favorite trail of mine into a nearly paved road with clear cuts on either side. Progress, I suppose. Wow. This area is just unrecognizable.
Last night Ada made some lobster and some corn on the cob, so I brought leftovers and uh, I'm gonna cook these up on the grill. Should be a good meal. Oh yeah. Mmm, that is good. I realize this is a little bit of a luxury meal for camping, but mm, amazing. I'm sitting here listening to all these crazy bird calls just echoing over the lake. This is one of the coolest things about camping by yourself, completely isolated. You can just hear nothing except natural sounds. Very relaxing. I'll tell you guys a story. So, the first time I ever went camping by myself, I'm gonna put this down. So I had my first Jeep, which was a 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Two door, which is kind of rare. And I worked in an office, and I would often, on Fridays, take my Jeep with me to work to just go somewhere after work on, a, on an adventure, long before I started filming my adventure. It's Friday, I just finished work, and I'm going on a solo adventure because I just felt like I had to get out. So, I'm heading up to the Mahalach Fire Tower, and it's gonna get dark soon, so it's gonna be uh, a nighttime trip, and it's also my first time uh, ever going there. So it should be an interesting journey, and uh, see what happens. I remember after work, never having been there, not knowing exactly how to get there, just having a rough idea, getting in to my Jeep and driving. And on the way up the mountain, my Jeep overheated, and I had to stop and wait for it to cool down. It got dark, I wasn't sure if I was going in the right direction. And I got up to the top, and I, I remember specifically the silence, just sitting there and hearing nothing. And that was my favorite thing about camping by myself uh, with no one else around, no, nothing else around. And I slept in the fire tower that night and that was my favorite camping trip of all time. So we're in the fire tower. This place is pretty awesome. I slept in here last night. I got here, it was really dark, so I didn't film anything then. But now it's really nice. It is such a beautiful day now. This view is out of this world. I'm just uh, hanging out, filming some stuff. I had a campfire, made some corn on the cob, barbecue corn on the cob for lunch. And uh, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I love it up here. Since then, I've wanted to do another solo camping trip and, you know, for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten around to it, been busy doing other stuff or whatever. But here I am, camping solo again, really enjoying just the quietness of it. Weather forecast had called for rain, but I woke up to warm sunshine hitting the lake and nothing but the mountains to spend time with.
heading back, I was happy to have done this again. If you think about it, it's not often you are truly alone. But while some things may change with time, I'm glad I have my stories to share of good times gone past and times like these to renew my spirit and passion for adventuring. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. <laughs>